Now my lip is as smooth as a baby's ass. My lip is smooth as a baby's ass, and I kind of went against the grain, so I feel like you guys will see me here soon with, you know, some pretty bad razor burn. M. Callister, thank you for the dear what's up. Q-Town, thank you for the dead months. Mary Ann, thank you for the five months. Yup. So as you guys can see, we have some new friends behind me. We have some new friends for the Amazon stream. Slowly but surely, we're building out, we're building out the decor. I haven't had time to sit down and, you know, I haven't had time to sit down and fully decorate yet. Also, I didn't clean at all. I didn't clean. I shoved all the boxes in the corner. All the boxes are in the corner. Silver Lake, thank you for the nine months. I've had a busy day, dude. I've had a busy day. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy, LaRourke, thank you for the three months. And thank you for the fucking galaxy on TikTok, whatever that means. I'm going to have to ask Jason Nash what that means. Bethy, thank you for the five gifted. Appreciate it. So... How are we doing, everybody? Sorry I'm late. I couldn't figure out how to get text-to-speech to work. It's crazy that I am a streamer, and I don't understand how any of this stuff works. You look like my sister's ex. Well, was your sister's ex hot as fuck? You know? I guess the answer would probably be yes. But, anyways, I got asked out today. Nice. Good for you, dude. Thanks for letting the class know. Ah, I hate when people are happy. Hannah, some fella. Thank you for the two months. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Is there a person that's Teddy? No, dude. When are you collabing with the triplets? Dude, I'm so far removed from the Stern Leo guys. There's no... Like, I'm so far removed from those dudes. I don't even know what... Oh, thanks for the cowboy hat on TikTok, people. Anyway, I guess I'm not that far removed. I'm really not that far removed from anybody, I feel like. But it just feels weird to send, like, a cold message. to be like, hey, man. Hey, man, do you want to make a video or something? Huh? Anyways, you guys are probably wondering what this ghost pepper sauce is going to... Well, you're probably, you probably thinking right now. You're probably sitting down. You're probably thinking, what's that for? And it's for the stream, which will also be a YouTube video. I'm cranking these babies out, dude. I'm cranking these babies out like I'm jaying off or something. It's unbelievable. Uh, drink it? I might have to here in a little bit. I'll explain the, the concept of the video here in a little bit. Um... Dude, I'm sweating like a whore. Thanks for the 200 bits, L bro. Catherine, thank you for the 11 months. That's not the expression. What's the expression? Sweating like a whore in church, I guess. Your mic? What, is my mic all fucked up? Is my mic all fucked up, dude? Oh, it's because I had this collar on. Sorry, TikTok people. Um, I like the flipped up collar look, though. Hey, you guys want an outfit check for you? Check it out, people. Yeah. Uh, sweater from Sheen, you know, probably, kids probably made this, but, looks kind of cool, I don't know, never been to Alaska, but, <laughs> you know, sweater from Sheen, got it from Sheen a long time ago, uh, just wondering if you could sit in dead silence in the teddy bear, no, I will not be doing that, but yeah, I got a lot, Sheen is much better in theory than in practice, because if you go on Sheen, you'll be like, okay, this is kind of awesome, I can get all these clothes for like seven dollars, and then it comes in, and you're like, oh, it's made out of paper towels, okay, that's good, I guess, these are, these t-shirts are made out of paper towels, and that's why they're so cheap, <laughs> you know, Nino, Neen Obsessed, thank you for the four months. Maddox on, thank you for the tier one sub. I'm just saying, I'm not an advocate for child labor. I'm just saying if the clothes look kind of cool. You know, I mean, you don't know where all your shit's coming from. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what journeys had to be made and what battles had to be fought for anything you buy, you know? Don't know what to tell you. Timu is cheap because they sell your information. I didn't know it was Timu. It is Team... Timu, I thought it was Team U, but you know they sure let you know in the fucking seven Super Bowl commercials. Um, anyways, you like men? Question mark. Is that like a question? No. <laughs> I mean, I like men in like a bro way. Like I could recognize a guy being hot as well, but I'm not like liking men. You know, I guess if I saw like a super duper hot guy, there might be like a little f flop. But that's about it. There might be a little wiggle. But, I mean, it's a spectrum, people. You know, that's why they call it a spectrum. You know? <laughs> so, but I'm not attracted to guys is the point I'm trying to make. Um, Brittany Broski duetted a TikTok. What? 
You mean to tell me that Brittany Broski stitched a TikTok that I made? I'm just now hearing of this. <laughs> no, I'm being sarcastic. I'm sorry. Janie, thank you for the one gifted. Appreciate it. Preesh. Preesh, preesh, preesh. Anyways, fight Joe Bart? I would never fight Joe Bart. That's my boy, dude. He would also rail my ass. Whoa. He would also beat my ass is what I meant to say. Rail my ass is not the verbiage I should have used. Because that makes it seem like we're banging and we're not uh, yet. Anyways. <sighs> you look like Stephen Hawking? All right. Well, no. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what I look like. We'll see if I, get, I, if I get in a car accident in, I don't know, 10 years or something. You never know. We're all just one accident away. Uh, so when, okay, well, I'm not reading that. Uh, Howard Stern's offspring. People say I sound like Howard Stern. I don't hear it at all. Like, I don't hear it. I do not at all. We just both have kind of deep voices. I don't hear Howard Stern at all. Everyone says that. Everyone says that. Don't hear it. Uh, thank you for the 250 bits, bruh. Stanky smelling mucho. Preesh. Preesh. What do your farts smell like? Thank you for the question. So, I guess speaking of questions, do you like the sound of your voice? Yes, I do. I do, indeed. Some people don't. Some people hear themselves and they're like, oh my god, oh, I can't handle it. Oh, I can't handle hearing my own voice. But like, I gotta get off to that, dude. Like, I'll listen to myself and I'll be like, that was kind of awesome, you know? Unless it's like a video of me like singing or something. I do that a lot. Not like actually get off, but I'm just saying I enjoy it, you know? I don't mind it. I don't mind. <laughs> Caitlin, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, can you mew, please? No. I can't just drop a mu. <laughs> oh, man. I'm having a good time. So, anyways, uh, what is I. Oh, yeah. You know what pisses me off, dude? Listen, sometimes selfishly, I'll look myself up on the internet just to be like, what are the what's what is the what is the crowd saying about me? You know, just because I'm, you know, I guess I like to do a little stroke of the ego sometimes. Danks Bank, thank you. Uh, D Joe Lover, thank you for the prime sub. Unplugged Monitor, thank you for the hundred bits. And like, I get a lot of high school boys being like, I can't stand how forced his voice is. His voice is so forced. Just because you have a little baby bitch ass voice doesn't mean that I'm forcing mine. You know what I'm saying? This is just what I talk like. I get that. That one I see a lot where it's like, uh, bro is trying so hard to sound like a. Blah, blah, blah. If you see me in life, this is what I sound like. It's very off putting to people. I sound like I'm always like announcing things that are happening. Like I'll go to the grocery store and I'm like, I'm here to get eggs. What's going on, everybody? I'm, I'm grabbing these eggs. Hey, what are we doing? And I always like throw little singers. I'm the same person that I portray online. This is not like some kind of character or whatever. <laughs> I'm always throwing in singers, dude. One-liners, you're fucked. If you're a cashier at a grocery store and I'm checking out, you're fucked, dude. I'm dropping hella zingers. And they might not always land, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> I've always sounded like this. I've sounded like this since I was like in middle school, which was also off-putting to people. I've always had a deep voice. But when I was really young, it was like not really like it wasn't down here you know it was kind of up here so it just kind of sounded like patrick star when i was in like sixth grade you know my balls have been dropped since i don't know jesus christ since i was six years old i've always sounded like this but i would sound like hey everybody what's going on hey everyone whoa hey everybody what's up it's me that's what i sounded like when i was in elementary school so it was like not quite like deep, deep. It was deeper than like a kid's voice. And everyone used to fucking, they always used to be like, oh, hey, I'm Tyler. I'm like, I'm going to kill you. Ah. That happened all the time. I'm trauma dumping on you guys. This is a nice vessel for me to trauma dump, I guess. Anyways, um, so ladies and gentlemen, um, <laughs> Mackie off of South Park. Yes, when I was nine, I sounded like Mackie off of South Park. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Why am I sweating my nuts off? My armpits are wet and wild, brother. Jesus Christ. 
So I get a little slip and slide. Mmm. Mmm. Tyler really puts the wine into perspective. Yeah. Last day of Black History Month. There was an extra day this time. That's pretty sweet, you know? Closer to the length of a normal month. You know, still kind of fucked up. It's the shortest month of all the months, but at least there's an extra day in the month, you know? Anyway, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try and, I guess, try and uh, maybe YouTube intro here, but here's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. I've turned on text-to-speak, text-to-speech, whatever it's called, TTS. I've turned that on, and... You guys will submit questions, and every question I'm going to pause, okay? And I have to AO pause. And every question I have to answer, and I get five skips, motherfuckers. I get five skips. However, every time I skip, I'm going to take a little spoonful of this hot sauce that I have right here, which is the hottest shit I've ever put in my mouth, other than your mother, of course. So (laughs) this is going to be awesome. Um, I died. I turned to ash the last time I tried this, so... Um, that's going to be, that's going to be fun. This is from that video from like October. It's just been sitting in my pantry. Um, now let me say this. If you ask something like, you know, what is your social security number? What is your full name? What is your, you know, mom's made net stuff like that. I mean, sure. Go for it if you want to, but you're just going to burn a, you're going to burn a skip. Like, that's going to be one skip off the board. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going (laughs) to say that, you know. Or maybe I will. I don't know. I'm an open book here, so. (laughs) I got a warning. For some reason, everyone is getting the sexual content warnings on my stream now. Don't know why, but I guess I'm just too hot to handle for Twitch, maybe. Damn, bro's gonna take one spoonful and end the stream. I might. I'm gonna do. You guys are gonna freak out about this because you guys are like fucking sadists. But I like. I'm gonna do not the full full spoonful because the last time I did that, I literally had to pause the stream and like reconvene for a little bit. I don't want to die, but everyone's gonna be like, "You have to fill it up to the brim, you fucker!" Ah. And I'm not going to. So <laughs> why not vodka? I want to drink. I don't feel like drinking. So I was like, hot sauce, that's what we're doing. And, you know, this might be a shit fire. This might be a, a just a turd that we set on fire kind of stream because I don't really know what I'm doing. So <laughs> I don't really know how to make this text-to-speech work, but we'll see. So I guess without further ado, let us get started. Um, and it's also 800 bits minimum to submit a question. Don't submit a question until I say so, because it's paused right now. Because if I did it for the free ski, we would just get a thousand questions. Like, it would be impossible. So I'm sorry. That's $8. It's $8. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I just wanted to make it to where it wasn't insane. 800 is wild? Is it? I just don't. Dude, there are 2,000 people in here. I can't answer 2,000 questions. That's crazy. So, I don't know. I feel like that makes sense. Do five? What is the difference between five and eight dollars? We'll see. You know, if we get zero questions, um, then I'll bring it down. I just feel like 500 bits. But if we do three dollars and I get 1,500 questions... I cannot answer 1,500 questions. Do you guys not understand why it's that high? <laughs> it totally makes sense. I, I, we couldn't possibly answer 1,700 questions. $8 makes sense. So, And it'll also, it'll also kind of mitigate people. Yeah, I'm being classist. It'll also mitigate people that are going to just be like, you know, what if you took a shit and then ate the shit? You know, now it puts it in perspective. You paid $8 to say that, dude. You know what I'm saying? You can still say, say stuff like that. It's just going to be $8, I guess. That might be too high. I don't know. Eat the poor. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. No we. Thank you for the prime sub. So we'll see. I mean, maybe I could do it. Maybe I could do $5. Or maybe I could do a Google form real quick. I don't know. Mm. We'll see what happens. I don't know. 500 bits is $10. That is objectively not true. 500 bits is $5. 
It's like one cent, one bit, I think. I don't know. See, I'm freaking out about it now, dude. I'm too much of a people pleaser, goddammit. I'm too much of a people pleaser. I'm not looking at the chat anymore. We're doing 800 bits. Stop. You will not peer pressure me into changing anything. I, it, everything's already set up for 800 bits. Ah. Stop. No. I'm too much of a people pleaser. Why would you do this to us? You hate poor people. I do. Okay? I'll be the first one to say it. What are you doing? Not having money, dude. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Or am I? No, I was broke for most of my life. 90% of my life. Uh, now, let's do this. 800 is too much. 800 is $8, okay? I cannot make it $3 and then get 2,000 submissions. And that is the final. 500 bits is $7. Where do we come up with that math? Is that right? Okay, then I guess I'll change it to 500 bits. Eight is still insane for one chat. Right, but I need you to listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. If it's reasonable for everybody, that means I will get 2,000 questions and we'll never get to your question anyways and you wasted money. Do you understand what I'm fucking saying? God damn. Anyways. Yeah, make it free. Or we just make it free. Right, that makes sense. I'll change it. I'll change it. We'll see if this works. 600. 600. And now I have to refresh this shit. Now this should work, I'm pretty sure. If 600 will be $8 then, I guess, according to the math that we did. All right, <laughs> Tim Timu shirt. It's actually Sheen, so it's actually a lot more quality. Um, here we go. Thank you for the cowboy hat. Da -na -na, da -na -na. Maybe if you ask a question, I guess I might, I might as well just... 510 is 999. You're making shit up now. Eat my shorts. Thank you for the prime sub. Actually, 500 bits is $100. So you're going to have to bring it down. <laughs> All right. This is, we're doing 600. That's what we're doing. 600 is the minimum. 600 is the minimum. God damn it. 600 is the minimum. For 600, it's 882. How does that math make any fucking sense? God damn. Okay, I'll make it 500. Good fucking lord. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, watch this. You're about to shit your pants. So here's the thing. What I'm doing right now is I'm you submit 500 bits, okay, and you can ask any question, and I have to answer the question. I get five skips, okay, and every skip I'm gonna take a shot of this ghost pepper hot sauce, and it's the hottest thing on earth. All right, so it's 500 bits. We're we're sticking with that. I don't give a fuck. That's what we're doing, no matter what, no matter what. Ah, okay. Now watch this. So I'm going to have to pause it after every single one, I think. Also, you guys are going to love, you guys are going to love the bits notification. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Let me just test it and show you guys. Check that out, huh? Hmm? Are you guys seeing this? Did you guys see that? That's me with boobs. That's me with boobs and they're bouncing up and down. Uh-huh. Okay. And we are opening as of right now. Whoop. Open. It's open. This is a test bit alert. Okay. <laughs> the test worked. And we're waiting. And I guess we'll just talk while we wait. Slay Queen Cooter Boss. Thank you for the nine months. Greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Thank you for the five. Okay. You get a lot of comments on TikTok and Twitch too, talking about how attractive you are. How do these make you feel? 
Pause. Boom. Got it. Okay. How so long are both your legs together, and can I make out with guy back there? God damn it. Okay, so <laughs> that's two questions. I didn't pause it in time. So we have two questions. I, I tried to figure out a way to where we could have the question on the screen, but we might, mods, we might just have to pin every question when you see the 500 bits. Uh, how long are both my legs was the second question. And then the first question was, do comments talking about me make me uncomfortable? Fragsy, thank you for the prime sub. Angel Totten, thank you for the tier one three months in advance. Um, no, not really. I don't really, I don't know. I don't read comments very much. Um, sometimes I do, and it's nice, like people being like, ooh, attractive guy but like i don't read into it too much because people on the internet will look at a rat smoking a cigarette and they'll be like why is he low-key kind of fine you know like there are edits of like you know um edits of fucking <laughs> i'm trying to think edits of just the ugliest person you've ever seen and they'll be like hold on why did he eat you know uh, so I don't know. I don't read into it too much. It doesn't make me very uncomfortable. Some of them are kind of uncomfortable if they're like hypersexual and it's also like, you know, a kid or something. Those get me kind of a little uncomfortable, but other than that, we should be good. And then the second question was what my, how long are my legs? I don't know. I've never measured my legs. My, I have long legs. They're like, I have the limbs of a tall person. Like my arms are long and my legs are long. But, you know, I <laughs> I don't know the exact length of my legs, but I'm built like a tall guy, but I'm not super duper tall, you know. Uh, and then can you, what, what was the second part of that question? Kiss Guy Fieri in the back? Sure, dude, you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you so please. And now, next question. So before anybody sends any more bits, I don't know if after unpausing the the bits that you sent will go through. So after the question, like I'm like during answering a question, maybe don't submit or maybe do. We'll see once I hit on pause. How do you shave your balls? <laughs> okay. How do you shave your balls? Okay. So they do come through. They will come through eventually. How do I shave them? Um, there's a, there's a, uh, Dude, there's this thing called One Blade. It works wonders. Also, you got to take a cold shower. You got to take a cold shower. So, guys, eventually, eventually all your stuff will come through, is what I just learned. Because that one was from three minutes ago. Um, so, there's this thing called One Blade. And then if you take like a, like a cold shower, they shrink. So, there's not as much looseness, you know? So, when it's shrunk up, you can take the One Blade and go up in there. And that's how I do that. So, if you guys were wondering. I'm not taking a shot of this shit, dude. I'm not. There's no way. I'll answer every question you ask, all right? And that's for my boys out there. Cold water. It shrinks up the, the nuts. So, it's not as, like, saggy. So, you won't nick yourself, is what I'm saying. First stream here. Thoughts on bald guys. Also, do you want to smoosh Snimpreski? What? <laughs> I don't know the second half of that. I don't know what you're saying on the second half of that. Also, TikTok people, this is not going to make any sense to you because you can't hear the questions, but I'm answering questions in my chat. Submits. Thoughts on bald guys? Um, I don't know. I mean, I did, I, they have their place in society, I guess. I don't ever look at bald people and I'm like, ooh, hot guy. I'm also not gay, so... You know, you know, I don't know, bald. Wait, was that bald people or bald men? Bald guys. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's going to happen to everybody at some point. We'll all go bald. It is, you know, you can't escape it. You can't escape death, taxes or hair recession. So, you know, you got to just get you got to start loving it early, I guess. And then also, do you want to smoosh? Uh, no, would be the second answer. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know your story. You know what I'm saying? All right. Next question. Favorite plane that hit the Twin Towers. Okay. Favorite plane that hit the Twin Towers. Can you do channel points for TTS in the future? Love your content, man. Okay. So we got two there. Let's let's tackle the first one. Favorite plane that hit the Twin Towers. Um... 
I don't know, man. I guess the first one, it was the it was the first one, you know, it was a shock to everybody. I wouldn't say that they would be my favorite. I guess technically you have a favorite of everything. Listen, guys, I have to answer this. I don't want to take a shot of hot sauce, god damn it. Um technically there's a favorite and least favorite of everything that exists, like no matter what it is, technically. You know, like if you had to choose a favorite out of the things, technically. No, I'm not going to skip it because what if someone asked my social security number? So we'll go that one. And then the second question was channel point TTS. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we can do that. We can go crazy with it. Go freak mode with it. You know what I'm saying? Love your content, man. Thank you very much. All right. And now we will continue. Boom. Can I get in that teddy bear and cuddle you at night? Is that the question? What made you want to become oh. a streamer and you ever think you would become as popular as you are now? How do you deal with the fame? Okay, so let me tackle the first one. Can I get in that teddy bear and cuddle you at night? Sure, whatever, Todd. Todd K2020. Go nuts, you know? What is the second question? Can we pin that? Mods, please. Thank you for the, the good work you guys are doing, moderators. I appreciate it. Um... Something about the content. Fuck, I'm not remembering. Ah, ah. You're making them work overtime with no pay. They'll get a cut of this, dude. They won't. But I think it said, uh, see, I wish it popped up on the screen. That's my only problem is it doesn't pop up on the screen. Oh, shit. Also, my boob gif isn't working for some reason. Hmm. Okay, how do you deal with the fame? I got it, I got it, I got it. So it was, it was. did I think I was going to get a, as big as I did? Pause. And how do I deal with the fame, I believe is the question. Um, uh, no, I didn't think I would get this level. My goal was always 10,000 followers. I wanted 10,000 followers on Twitch. That was my goal. And then... Um, I got 10,000 and then I went up to 100. And then after 100, I was like, okay, well, you know, Jesus Christ. There's, oh, look at that. It's working now. The pictures are working now. It's just mad delayed. Anyway, so no, I didn't think I was going to get this level. And I, I don't know, dealing with the fame. I feel like internet fame is very, like, as different from, like, real life fame. Like, it's not... It hasn't really changed my life in any significant way, you know. Okay, I know there are ads, people, so I'll chill out on the questions as of right now. But yeah, no, it hasn't really changed my life in any significant way. See, like, why is it now popping up for 100 bits? This fucking alert box is fucked up. We can't hear you? I know. I know you can't hear me. I'll wait till the ads are done, bruh, and then I'll unpause it. Don't worry about it, bruh. Am I the only one seeing a black screen? You gotta be shitting me. You're joking, right? I'm here. Oh, they're the only person. Okay. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm seeing myself right now. Holy shit. Okay, I'm here. Tell me when the ads are over. Ads, people? Are the ads done, ladies and gentlemen? Hmm? Are the ads done? Are they finished? Are they finished? Are they finished? Ads are done. Okay, there we go. Booyah. Next question, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Boom. boom Are you going to get a pet anytime soon? Are you going to get a pet anytime? How do you feel about Brittany and how everyone brings her up now? Also, what's going on there? Like, what's the situation? Fuck. Okay. Getting a pet anytime soon. Yes. I am going to get a pet. I don't know why it does two in a row. Okay, more ads. God damn, whatever. I'll do, I'm will i just going to continue. You guys can watch the VOD back. I'm sorry. Because I'm, I'm, it's getting tough for me to remember the questions. I am gonna, I'm going to get a little dog. I'm going to get a little dog. My sister, I think, is going to move up here, and I'm going to get a little dog. I want a little English bulldog. That's what I want. A little English bulldog. It's going to be awesome. And then to answer your question, how does it feel when people bring up Brittany in the stream? That was the question. Well, and then the second part of that question was, what's going on? What's the sitch? 
Um, I don't know. I mean, we're, I don't care. You know, I collab with Jake or Johnny or anybody. The whole chat is about Jake or Johnny. That happened. The whole chat is about that for a little bit. I don't mind. I mean, it makes sense. And then, you know, what's the sitch? I mean, there's no sit. We're just people talking, you know, chatting it up. And also that's, that's going to be one of the things. If you give me like a vague question, I'm going to give you like a vague answer. Ooh, yeah. That's what's going to happen. Your TikTok is unreal. Thank you. Can we have a choice in naming the dog? Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Bros Red. Yeah, some of your mom's ass cheeks when I was spanking them after I gave her back shots. Ooh, ooh. All right, next one. Hey, handsome, will you suck on my toes? Uh, yes. Next question. Happy Backshots Thursday, fella. If Fox News was around in the 1970s, does Richard Nixon survive Watergate? If Fox News was around in the 1970s, would Nixon survive Watergate? Well, he didn't. Didn't he? He got impeached, right? He got impeached. <laughs> Din XE TV, thank you for the tier one sub. Fapey, thank you for the tier one sub. Also, it wasn't Prime... Wasn't Fox News around in the 70s or no? He did get impeached. He absolutely got impeached. I don't know if I'd say he survived Watergate. Maybe he would have... Oh, he resigned? Well, he's going to get impeached and then he resigned. Right. Okay, he wasn't impeached. We have a lot of historians in the chat tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I think you can look it up. Th I'm pretty sure you can look it up and I'm pretty sure he was impeached. And la, 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 la. I don't care what you say. La, 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 la. He was impeached. Um, yeah, I'd probably... I mean, Fox News would be all over that. I'm pretty sure Nixon was a, a hashtag lib, I think, from what I remember. I watched a doc. I got super high one time and watched a documentary about the whole Watergate scandal because I, <laughs> dude, there was a guy involved in Watergate. His name was Detective Deep Throat. That's not even a joke. You can look that up. You can look that up, dude. Look it up. Detective Deep Throat. Check it out. Anyway, so probably not. Next question. Do you want to fuck? Uh, no. Next question. <laughs> How long was your longest pee? Don't act like you don't know. How long was my longest pee? Is the question. Um, long, dude. I'm a long pisser. Like, I pee a lot. And I pee for a long time, brother, man. Like, if it's on, like, a road trip and I've been holding it for a while, I mean, Jesus Christ. I, I, I feel like there have probably been times where I did, like, a minute. Like, one minute. You know? I think I've gotten a full minute before. I'm pretty sure. I need to start timing them. I can bang it out if I really want to. But I, there have definitely been times on, like, road trips. I'm like, when is this going to end, you know? I'm like, when is, is this ever going to end? It just keeps coming, you know? Spending $8 to ask a weird question like that. Let's make smart investments. I actually think that was a very good question. <laughs> we got to mix it up, you know? They can't all be serious questions, right, guys? Fella, what is your response to Brittany Browski? Browski. Josh Medina, thank you for the prime sub. Sugar Bill, thank you for the one gifted. I believe my response was... Hey, with a bunch of whys. I'm pretty sure it was my response. I also acknowledge it on stream several times. It's really real. Thank you for the prime sub. Um, yeah, I did the little slutty hey with a bunch of whys. And then, you know, we've been chatting, dude. You know, that's my response. I, I, I mentioned it several times on stream. You can, you can look at the responses. Those are my responses. But I guess my in a literal sense, my response was hey with like nine whys. So... What is your clit cleaning routine and tips? Did that question say, what is my clit cleaning routine and tips? T Nasty, thank you for the five months. Um, thank you for the 500 bits. I appreciate your question. Um, I do not have a clitoris. But if I did, I don't know. I guess you got to go under the hood or something. You got to get in the walls or something. I, I, that's like a thing, I think. I don't know. I don't have any tips for you. <laughs> Can you do a hairline reveal? 
can I do a hairline reveal? Yes. But I'm just answering questions. I'm not like doing stuff. So I'm not going to lift it up, you know? Boom. There we go. Oh, oh. How you like that? How you like them apples, dude? I did it. You can check the stream yesterday, dude. I had a fucking hairnet on that brought my hair like all the way to the back of my head. You can look at it. You can literally go click on that. And there's so many. Like the pretty much the whole stream. <laughs> my hairline. So yes, I did do it. Yes, I will do it. And yes, I have done it already. So yesterday. If I give you $100, will you shave your head? A hundred dollars? No, not a chance in hell. If you gave me a hundred dollars, would I shave? I had no fucking chance. Thoughts on the Willy Wonka experience? Ooh. Also, I bought a cameo earlier. I'm very excited to get it back. Ooh, okay. I'll be on the cameo grind after this, so look for that. The Willy Wonka experience, dude. I watched a video on that. First of all, that's fucking crazy. We can look at clips of it after this. That is insane. <laughs> the whole thing, the whole thing was um, AI generated. Like the whole fucking candy experience was like all the promo was AI generated. All of like the, like the scripts were AI generated and they just hired random actors. And then Moist Critical has a great video on it. They just hired random ass actors and uh, apparently the Willy Wonka actor was a creep, a complete creep. I, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, so, dude, fucking insane. So, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there was this guy that, like, ran this scam to have, like, a Willy Wonka experience. And I think, you know, the good, the, the good Queen's England, or the King's England now, she's dead, um... And it was it was promoted as like they had these AI generated like beautiful like candy like setups and like all these like Willy Wonka chocolate factory shit. And as it turns out, it was just like a warehouse with like some lawn decorations. And then they gave every kid it was forty dollars to come, forty dollars to like buy a ticket. And then every kid got one jelly bean and like a tiny little thing of lemonade, and that was it. Like like like. Yeah, I say like a lot. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Huh? What are you gonna do about it? You're gonna make me stop? No, you're not. Um, and yeah, it was nuts. They had just random actors, AI generated scripts, AI generated apology. Like people were furious and getting upset as hell. It was insane. Look it up. It's nuts. Where's the honkers? Where's the honkers? The boobs that I got yesterday? <laughs> I'll have to show you guys the boobs <laughs> from yesterday. They're sitting on... They're on my rack in my closet. The rack's on a rack, you know? Because um, I didn't want to put them on the floor. So they're just... They're just with all my jackets. Just these giant F-cup titties. Just on a hanger <laughs> next to all my clothes. Uh, so that's where they are, if you're wondering. Do you like black women? Have you ever been with one? The question is, do I like black women? Have I ever been with one? Again, vague questions. So I'll give you vague answers. Uh, yes and yes, brother man. And that is it. You know, there's no anecdote to go with that. I will not delve any further. So there you go. <laughs> What's their type? If they use crash test dummies to test things, how do they test crash test dummies? Okay, so the first question is, what's your type? And I really don't have one. I'm sorry that's a shit answer, but like truthfully, nothing. I don't know, cool people and giant boobs is the, you know, is the cop-out answer, but there's really nothing there. And then the second question was, Crash dummies, what the fuck was that question? Crash dummies, I wish they popped up on screen. Something about crash dummies. I don't know. I, I don't know. Does anyone remember the second question? What was the second question? 
Oh, if they use crash test dummies to test things, how do they test crash test dummies? Uh, I don't understand that question at, at all, like even a little bit. Um, I think that's the point of crash dummies is that like they don't test the dummies. They're like they're made specifically for the purpose of being crashed. You know, you should have done this high. I would have died doing this high. I almost had an aneurysm reading that. All right. Amusing you as a magic eight ball. Do I ghost my situation ship or no? Uh, yes. They don't care about you. This is the harsh reality, dude. Your situation ship does not care about you one bit, all right? That's why you're in a situation ship and not a relationship, dude. Hashtag real talk. Otherwise, you'd be in a fucking relationship. What is a situation ship? If you're 25 and up and you're like, situation ship, you got to reevaluate your life choices. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, all right. There we go. Next question. Hey, fella. Have you ever played hit game Tetris? If so, how good were you at it? If not, play it in the future. Thanks. Of course I played Tetris. And secondly, I'm not that good at Tetris. I don't understand how the shapes fit together. Um, I used to play it on my mom's Razor Motorola. Dude, at this rate, I'm not going to have to drink any of this hot sauce. This is awesome. Uh, the Game Zone. Thank you for the tier one sub. I've been kind of killing this shit, low key. Just rattling off these answers, dude. Rattling off these answers. Um, I just forgot that question. What the fuck was that question? Oh, Tetris. Yeah, I don't know. I've never... <laughs> I, I'm not particularly good at Tetris. I might. Maybe I'll do it on stream. I don't know. Favorite slash most sentimental tattoo on your body and why did you get it? Love you. Favorite and most sentimental tattoo on my body? Um, all right, let's see what we're cooking with. So, for those of you who are wondering, five bit, 500 bits is the threshold to get text-to-speech to work. Uh, Avery, think for the 10 months. The globe one is supposed, it's supposed to be representative of, like, my dad. His favorite song is What a Wonderful World. But, like, holy God, dude. I mean, I love my dad, but Jesus fucking Christ, that's the biggest tattoo on earth. And when I first got it, I had a panic attack. I got pretty much peer pressured into this tattoo because the guy, like, would not size it down. He was like, what, are you a snowflake or something? Ah, do you want the tattoo or not? I was like, ah. And then this one is supposed to be sentimental, but it's not. It's supposed to be my birth flower, but it's, you know, the wrong month. So that's pretty cool. The Game Zone, thank you for the one gifted... The eight is cool. Uh, the mom one's pretty self-explanatory. The eight is cool because the eight, me and my twin sister were born eight minutes apart. So that's what that one is for. And that's my question. There you go, dude. Is that a poppy? I have no fucking idea. I think it's a pansy. Thanks for the galaxy, bruh. Honkers, dump truck, or wiggle stick. Honkers or dump truck or wiggle stick was the question. I'm assuming wiggle stick is a wiener. I don't know. The, the kid in me is going to say honkers, you know? The kid in me is going to say honkers. That's just what, that's just, that, that guy, he's just happy about him, you know? He loves him. He loves him. You know, he's always loved him. And that, he still lives within me, you know? Usually when you mature, you kind of grow out of that, but I'm still a kid at heart, you know? I saw someone do some annoying spam about the jacket from yesterday. There's no news. I have no idea where that jacket came from. I have no idea. <laughs> what if your situation ship lives four hours from you? Oh, you guys are having e-sex? You guys are e-dry humping each other? That's embarrassing. You have to communicate in asterisks and be like, asterisk dry humps you or something. <laughs> Anyways, all right, next question. Hi, stinky butt. Gay son or that? Gay? What was the question? <laughs> Chaz Waz, thank you for the one gifted. Gay son or that? Was that the question? What was, I don't understand that question. 
Or that? What is that? Or do you mean thought daughter? Or thought daughter? Okay, the classic gay son thought daughter. The classic gay son thought daughter question that's plagued youths for millennia. Um, I don't know. I guess gay son, I don't know, that'd be cool, you know? That'd be cool. But then, you know, he might be a thought also. So then that's just something I have to deal with. And I have to be like, okay. Hmm. <laughs> you know, he's thoughting around with these guys. What the fuck? I should have chose the thought daughter. Um, yeah, I don't know. Thought daughter, maybe. I don't know. I just don't want to hear it. You know, I feel like if she's thoughting enough and she's living in my house, I'm going to hear it. And that's going to make me want to die. So probably the gay son, you know. I'm like, you will have gay sex outside of this roof. Go to his house or something. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you know? I'm just saying, don't do stuff in my house, bro. Gay or not. I just don't want to hear my, my children, you know? What were you like in high school? Do you miss it? What was I like in high school? Do I miss it? Um, I don't miss it particularly. I miss some of the people. Um, <laughs> wear headphones. <laughs> I guess I could just wear headphones. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I miss my my friend, like my hometown friends. I don't miss particularly high school. I don't really miss, I mean, I miss certain aspects of life. But like, you kind of like, it happens and then like, okay, that time period of your life has passed. What was I like in high school? Like literally the exact same. <laughs> like the exact same as I am now. Like you could find videos of me pretty much saying essentially the same stuff. Um, but I mean, I was, I was like funny. I don't know. Like I, I was good in school. Like I made good grades and prom king, class president as well. So, you know, I know it's very important. I also graduated with a class of 150 people, though, so it's kind of less important when you start, when you bring that detail into play. It's like, okay, well, you just needed seven people to vote for you. <laughs> so once you bring that detail up, I went to high school, like, pretty much in a cow pasture, so. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, I, the same person, the same guy, so. Do you feel pressure to be funny? Does it stress you out to have to perform? BTW love your streams, in the paramedic and your content cheers me up after rough days at work. Heart. Do you feel pressure to be funny? Do I always have to feel like I have to perform? Um, I mean, sometimes. And thank you for the love and support, paramedic. I remember your, your paramedic activities um can we pin that if you guys can find it how do you send a question 500 bits and then just say the text in there um <laughs> bro's the memory of a fish i do have a memory of a fish um i feel some pressure i don't know it's not that exact i feel like pretty i kind of just josh around naturally i don't feel that much pressure i do feel a little bit of pressure to, like make it somewhat entertaining like i don't want to just get on here and like play a game but it's not like exhausting to me. I feel like some streamers are like, oh fuck, I have to I have to stream and then it just takes the life out of me and I, I have to put on this mask and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe, but maybe that's just because I'm like I'm so extroverted and like I like being funny. That's like how I I feel some sort of pressure in the sense that I want to entertain, but it's not like negative pressure, if that makes any sense. It's like good pressure. Um we're getting hashtag real, people. I'm answering questions over here. God damn it. I always feel weird being serious for like a little bit. If you were in a gladiator style ring, would you rather survive 10 Helen Keller with pistols or 30 Stephen Hawking's in wheelchairs that go 30 miles per hour? <laughs> can we pin that one? Oh, it doesn't let us scroll back. Okay, I think I can find that one actually. So the question was, oh, I found it. 
Oh, I'm caught up now. If you were in a gladiator-style ring, would you rather survive 10 Helen Keller with pistols or 30 Stephen Hawkings in wheelchairs? That can go 30 miles per hour? 10 Helen Keller with pistols. They're going to knock each other out, dude. They're going to take each other out. What are we talking about? What, is she going to put the sights on me? They're literally going to take each other out, and I'm going to sit in the corner. I'm easily taking that one. Because Stephen Hawking at 30 miles per hour, also he's a fucking genius. He would put a beam on a switch on his wheelchair and shoot a missile at me or something. Dude, easily. Easily the Helen Keller one. Dude, I haven't taken one shot of hot sauce yet. What? I mean, come on, dude. Goaded. Goaded. <laughs> Next question. Also, we don't have to worry about pinning things. I found I found the list, so thank you guys. Do that don't be donging or do it be dinging. Uh yes and yes. Donging and what dinging. What is your type in women? Blonde, brunette, thick, thin? Um, none of the above. I'm kind of a man guy. No, I mean, again, like I, I already had this question. I don't really have particularly like a specific type, really. I feel like that's weird to be like, I only like this, you know, just like hot people. <laughs> that's literally the only criteria. Um, Have you ever gotten reached out for a collab with any other famous influencers? Yes. And I guess that's the end of that. Because, <laughs> you know, you ask a vague question, I'm going to give you a vague answer. That was just have, you know. It wasn't like who has specifically reached out to you, you know. That's a yes or no question, dude. I'm going to give you a yes or no answer. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's a bunch. There's a lot. There's a lot of people behind the scenes that I haven't talked about. Because it just feels weird to be like, guess who I'm talking to? Woo! You know? So. Because then that makes me look like a fucking loser. I'm like, guys, you'll never believe this. <laughs> what was your favorite class in college? My favorite class in college? Oh, boy, do I have one for you. I took this class called Intro to Listening. Bro, it's $10 to ask you a question. It's not. It's 500 bits, which is $5, maybe $7. I don't know. Unless you live in, like, Europe or some shit. I have no idea. I don't know what the conversion ratio is. It is $7. But that's just so I wasn't flooded with questions. There's so many people in it. You want me to answer 1,800 questions? I've said it so many times, and I'm sorry. Anyways, so the question was, favorite class in college? In college, I took this class called Intro to Listening. Um... Intro to listening is as stupid as it sounds. It was literally just, you go in there, you listen to classical music. It was my freshman year. I had to knock out like a humanities or, or an arts or something. Uh, so it sounds like an easy A class. It is, dude. I went in there the first day on syllabus week, and he was like, I don't take attendance. Um, you know, don't take attendance. Uh, and all the tests are online. I was like, okay, well, you'll never see me again so I, I didn't you know I did not fucking <laughs> I, did, I did not go to that class ever it was Fridays at 8 a.m I'd rather die than go to a Friday 8 a.m class that was ridiculous so I had all we had exams and the exams were like what is a saxophone or something or like identify the flute and shit like that that was my favorite class <laughs> it was so easy. Me and my roommate had the same class together, and we had no idea because we never went to class. There's also, uh, what is another class? Oh, I liked uh, public speaking. Public speaking was a fun class because I would kind of just go up there and do stand-up. They would let you just do anything. The only criteria was that you spoke in, pu in public. That's it, dude. I would just go up there and just be like joking. It was awesome. Like, I, I did my first speech on why, like, the jewel is good for you, like, physically. Because that was, like, a big thing when I was a cool, you know, sophomore in college. Um, and the only criteria was, like, you know, come up with a speech and make it 10 minutes. And I would just get up there and, like, rail out bits. <laughs> you know? So, come on with me now. Next question. 
Bum 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 bum. What's your favorite restaurant in Chicago? I need some recommendations. Mmm. Hmm. I feel like Portillo's is such a basic answer, but it's such like a staple. I could neck Portillo's, dude. Straight neck it. With this guy right here, Arby's. <laughs> Arby's, bruh. Just some weenies, dude. Some weenies down the, down the gullet. Oh, yeah. Weenies down the gullet. Basic answer, but it's like an umbrella. I just feel like it, in, it incorporates, you know, every aspect. If you're going to visit, you got to have a, a wiener. Are you religious? <laughs> Do you get munchies when you're high? If so, what's your fave snack? Mine is sour candy. <laughs> okay. So we're going to have to tackle religion. <laughs> the first question was, are you religious? Um, do I take a shot at this one? I love God. Um, I'm trying to answer these seriously. But I also know that my parents sometimes watch the YouTube videos. How do I answer this in a way that is super duper duper vague? That's a yes or no question. Oh yeah, that is a yes or no question. No, <laughs> no, I was for a long time, but no, I'm more so, you know, I don't know, dude. I'm just saying if I'm not living that way, it's like, why even do it? Because in the Bible, it's like, if you're, if you're lukewarm, like if you're in the middle, you're like, oh shit. You guys probably could have guessed that though. You know, I'm joking on that God dude all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, not religious at all. So, <laughs> grew up in the church though. The church is fascinating. If you leave the church and look at it from like an outside perspective, you're like, holy fucking shit, dude. Holy fuck. Bro's acting like it's wrong to be not religious. No, I mean, I'm not religious as fuck. I'm just saying in the YouTube, I know sometimes my parents watch it and they're going to be like, oh, my baby boy is strayed from God. <laughs> But it's very funny. When I was in church, I'm going to go ahead and end this TikTok live because I'm on 6%. Guys, uh, come to the stream. Or don't. I don't know. Well, actually, wait 30 seconds to come to the stream because there are ads right now. But, you know, I'm leaving TikTok live because my phone is going to die. So goodbye, people. You can actually hear the questions on Twitch. So check it out. Anyways, uh, it's Regini. Reg Thank you for the prime sub. Shrek something. Thank you for the sub. I know they're ads, people. I'm going to finish this. Uh, I'm not Jewish, also. I know I have the features, but I am not Jewish. Um, ooh. Uh, we had this segment in our church that was anti-masturbation. It was like, you know... Um, it was literally like they would separate us into boys and girls. And they would be like, you shall not masturbate. Uh, if you jerk off, if you produce cum out of your penis, you will go to hell forever. And also they were like, you can't even have sexual thoughts because that's a sin. I'm like, I thought that was just like getting hungry or something, dude. Amirix, thank you for the one gifted. Also, when you... Uh, when you tell an 11 year old that jerking off puts him in hell forever dude i'm jerking off all the time at that age what's up with that dude you're gonna tell me that and ruin my life that's crazy man i'm putting up kobe numbers at that age and you're gonna tell me that and i'm gonna be like oh shit what have i done dude what have i done <laughs> And then they would, I don't know, they'd separate the girls too, and I assume they said the same thing. They're like, don't flick the bean. Thou shalt not flicketh the bean. Um, so, yeah. Maybe not 11. 12 for sure. Soitenly. Zanus, think of the prime sub. And then that youth pastor kind of got in trouble for some stuff. So I'm like, who really won at the end of the day? They love doing that, dude. They can't stay away. Anyways, uh, 
So that's the kind of stuff that we talked about in my church, you know. Uh, Torn up, thank you for the prime sub. Uh. Mm. Next question. Oh, wait, the next question was, do you get the munchies when you're high? If so, what's your favorite snack minus sour candy? I do get the munchies when I'm high. My go-to snack is just a chocolate rice cake and peanut butter because I'm trying to watch my figure, you know? What are your opinion on gingers? In my experience as a ginger, I feel like we are over-sexualized, so I am interested to know what you think. I actually think quite the opposite, me personally. I don't think... <laughs> I actually think quite the opposite is what I think. Um... Oversexualized? You think that's the main problem with gingers? I for real think that it would be. I don't think gingers are oversexualized at all. I think some most times they look at gingers and be like, "Ew, dude, gross." <laughs> um, I am a ginger adjacent. I mean, I don't know. It's like the same. They're ugly and hot people with every hair color, you know. But for some reason, gingers get a bad rap. Sleepy Peachy, thank you for the prime sub. But yeah, I wouldn't say the main issue is that gingers are over-sexualized. That is funny, though. <laughs> okay, I guess Bought the... a bed off of Shine. It came with a Boeing 737 in it. What should I do about this? Okay, Junkie Juno said that a plane... It... I don't. I have no idea how to answer this question. Uh, get the plane out of your bed, I guess. I don't know how to answer that question at all. Would you ever do a stream with viewers, say like a Minecraft tournament or like a competition? No. Yes. I. Here's the thing: is that one time I said that I was going to do a Minecraft tournament, and I was waiting for a big. You know what? I'm going to say it. I'm not going to say it. But I will say this, I was going to do this Minecraft tournament, and I was waiting on a huge sponsor, and I got a huge sponsor. I can't say who it was, but it was that many digits, dude. It was that many digits, and that was going to be for the tournament, and then they sent a picture of me in a blowjob bib to my manager, and they were like, we cannot give this guy money. I was like, no, shit! <laughs> they fucking screenshotted one of the Amazon streams of me in the bib that said blowjob bib, and they were like, we can't do it. I was like, fuck. So that's the truth of the situation, people. Okay? I hoed myself. <laughs> but also, don't fucking tell me that. Do not, If that's on the table, you're literally setting fire to money in front of my face. Don't tell me that, dude. Do not. I would have rather gone my entire life without knowing that. But you told me, like, hey, you lost this much money. And I'm like, oh, okay, great. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? You guys are a bunch of pussies or something? It's hilarious. Blowjob bib is hilarious. Your digital footprint is insane. What are you talking about? What are you talking about right now? How is my digital footprint that insane? It's not even that crazy. <laughs> All right. Next question. You've got a lot of books on your shelf back there. Do you enjoy reading? If so, what's your favorite book slash series? Smiley face. Um, not anymore. I haven't read a book in a while. I haven't read a book in a while. I, um, I used to love reading. Yeah, Breeding with Bigfoot is a great book. I love the Bible as well. It's one of my favorites. The Bible is actually very fun. If you separate yourself from the church, the Bible is fucking hilarious, dude. Crazy shit happens in the Bible. Sap or sap, thank you for the one gifted. Anyways, I don't read anymore. I, I, I know that it's good for me, and I know it, like increases my vocabulary, makes me a smarter person. And I used to die by that. I used to be like, read every day, no matter what. I would get, we would, you, we used to get points. We used to get points for reading in elementary school. I forget what it was called. But 
there was this motherfucker. I was goddamn good at reading in elementary school. Second every year in my elementary school. Second in terms of points. AR points, yes. Second in AR points every time. And this motherfucker, Daniel. Daniel, if I fucking find you, I I don't know what you're doing now. But in fifth grade and sixth grade, he beat me every year. He beat me every year. That's crazy. That's his real name. I should not have used his real name. I could have just made up a name. Jackson, you asshole. Um, anyways. <laughs> yeah, he beat me every time. He fucking beat me every time, dude. Every single time he beat me. But yeah, I used to be huge on reading. Anyways, to answer your question. So, um, the Aragon series I used to really like. Um, like the city of glass and shit, like all those books are really good. Um, the series of misfortunate events were solid. All those books are books I read in elementary school, like every single one of them. City of bones. That's what it is. City of boners, <laughs> city of big dicks that are erect. All right. Next question. I double dog dare you to drink that hot sauce. If you don't, then you're gay. Okay, well, that's not even a question. I guess what I'm... What is your real name, fella? I guess I'm First gay. First name only. What is your real name, fella? First name only. Tyler is my real name. Uh, you could have... You know, you probably could have picked up on that. You didn't have to send me money. But I appreciate your money. Thank you for the money. And I appreciate you discerning first and last name. Um, okay, next question. When is the last time you got rejected? What happened? I need details or you better start sipping that hot sauce. Ooh. Love you, bitch. Ooh, one that is not vague. Details. I am Milky Mikey. Thank you for the prime sub. When is the last time I got rejected? I mean, never, dude. Look at me. Look at me for two seconds. Um, I need to think. I need to think. The last time? I can't think of like a straight up rejection. I can think of a straight up erection. No, I'm going to stop saying that. Um, rejection, 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 rejection. I'm trying to think of one where I know details because most of it is just like you shoot a shot, whether it be like text or like in person, and then it just, just nothing. I'm trying to think of a, what is a good story with this? I mean, I know it exists. I know it exists. There's plenty, I'm sure. I just need to like sit down and think about it. All right. Um, I, I'm thinking of one in early college that makes my, like, that makes me like die inside. Um, but that one is so long ago I want to find one more recently uh, Beanie thank you for the two months Sarah thank you for the prime sub there's gotta be a good story here I just cannot think about it that's the one that first came to mind was like there was it this one is not even a good story though i'm trying to think of one that is a good story fuck shit this one's not a good story it was just sad i i went out with this girl one time in college and we got like dinner anyways i paid for dinner and a movie and like all this stuff and then i remember like going in to be like, I was like, uh, and then, you know, was not reciprocated. And then we did not <laughs> talk at all after that. <laughs> but that was like my freshman year of college. That was early. 
And I was like, uh, <laughs> and it was, it was there. Like it was, you know, skin made contact on skin, but you know, it was kind of just like a, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was early. Also, I don't know. There's a better story for sure. That was a better, there's definitely a better story, but that's for some reason the only one I can think of because that keeps me up at night. How do you feel about nipple piercings on both men and women? Um, awesome on women, sacrilege on men. No, I mean, that's cool, I guess. Uh, if you want your nipples pierced, you just be prepared for your nipples to be showing all the time. I feel like if you have nipple piercings, they just show through every shirt you have. Someone send this man a hot sauce question. That's true. You could just be like, what is your social security number? And then I would have to take hot sauce. <laughs> or a really, you know, like a really fucked up James Corden question or something. First, love the mini photos on your wall. Also, special brownie cooking stream soon. Is that the question? Uh, sure. Sure. Special brownie cooking stream. Wipe versus crust thoughts. Excellent question. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. Um, wiping, duh. Crusting, there's no. What the fuck? No one actually lets it crust. Unless you're like stranded on a deserted island. Or I saw a clip of... Um, I saw a clip of saying, uh, it was like Wilbur's ex-girlfriend saying he didn't use toilet paper. So I guess he's more of a crust guy. Um, so nice. Uh, yeah, there's, it, I don't, I mean, I don't think anyone actually lets it crust unless they're in like an emergency situation. Like I've been stranded without toilet paper before and you kind of just got to waddle to the nearest, um, cloth, you know? Or use your sock or something. Comma cunt. Think of the two months. Mickleback. Think of the four months. Hut. Love your videos, fella. Would you do any Minecraft contests again? I did just say that. And yes, I just, I want it to be awesome. And I want there to be a sponsor. I don't want it to be some bitch ass amount. I want it to be like a ridiculous amount of money, and I want it to be well orchestrated, and it kind of takes a lot to set up. Hi, Pookie. Do you have a girlfriend? If so, what's her name? Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> That's an easy one. Next question. Would you take Diet Coke up the butt or let someone do a line off your wiener? Um, I would do both. I think risky backup. Thank you for the one gifted. Her name is No. I guess I would do both. I don't know. That would be cool. <laughs> Give me both of them, bruh. Both of them. These are the easiest questions of all time. What is the most down bad thing you've ever done? Do you still live with your mummy? What is the most down bad thing you've ever done? I mean, I... <laughs> I mean, I... I might... I might do the hot sauce on this one. I really don't care that much, but... I can't think of one specific instance, though. That's my issue. I can't think. I can't speak of one, think of one specific instance, but I can think of a recurring thing in like early college. Freshman sophomore me was like a fucking monster, <laughs> but I could just. I could just. I could just take a little hot sauce. And then I'm good. And then I'm good. And then I'm good. And then I'm all right. And then I'm good. Okay. And then I'm good. Okay. Oh, dude, it's not that bad. Um, so I would like, in early college, I'd be like, anytime I got really drunk, I'd just send 
just it's not that bad honestly but it would be like the most tender messages you've ever seen in your entire life like just just like like an animal and i'd just be like ah i'm like i'd be like there's an emergency we you have to check out this emergency to like you know hundreds of people i'd be like and you know that would be freshman year of college and that would only be if i was like trashed um so you know that's not terrible yeah it's not terrible i mean that's that's the most down bad i've been i'm not like a down bad guy though you know uh, bro's gonna hot sauce for that yeah well i want to spice up the video no pun intended you know what i'm saying that wasn't bad at all i don't have like a specific instance i can think of i'm a pretty normal guy you know shrambo thank you for the 12 months actually i thought of a better one that i definitely should take hot sauce for i thought of a better one that i absolutely would take hot sauce for And I'm not saying, and I'm not saying that one, not saying that one at all, not saying that one, not saying that one. I just had like the thousand yard stare. I was like, yeah, no, we're doing, we're doing this. Here we go. I already answered the question, but I did a, I did a cop out one. I did a cop out one. Now I remember the real situation and you know, <laughs> never mind. All right, here we go, people. Spoonful. This shit is hot. I am not looking forward to this. <laughs> I just started a goofy. Ah, ah, ah. This is what this is. Ghost paper. <sighs> Bro, eight, 20 micro, whatever the fuck. It's ghost pepper hot sauce, you fucker. It's ghost pepper hot sauce. There are tears in my eyes. Oh my god. Fuck. Uh, I feel like it's going straight to my butthole. Uh, guy Fieri, save me. Save me, Guy Fieri. Just joined and thought fellow was busting. That would be something. Oh, fuck. Okay, next question, people. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. Next question. Favorite Pokemon or favorite Pokemon generation slash game? Also, do you even like Pokemon? No, I don't give a fuck about Pokemon. I've never given a fuck about Pokemon. I don't have a favorite Pokemon game. Since when does drinking water make it more hot? What the fuck are you guys talking about? How else do you take out fire? Uh, no, I've never cared about Pokemon. And then the question before this was, do I live with my mom? No, I live by myself. Uh, next question. Where are you from? We love you. I'm from the South. I'm from the Do deep. you have love for the queer women of the world? Elaborate on this like your fee depends on it. Sending love. I love the queer women of the world. When I was in middle school, I used to watch videos of lesbians all the time. I watched videos of lesbians every day. When I was in middle school, and I was their biggest fan. And were they real lesbians? <laughs> Probably not. <sighs> No, dude, queer women of the world rock, brother. 
they rock aside from being fans of their videos you know uh uh, uh oh my god next question it's finally tone Change your mind? Um, but yeah, <laughs> it would change it, I think. I don't know if it would like complete. It depends. There are so many different variables. It depends the context. But, I mean, yeah, probably. I mean, definitely would change my mind in like a sense of looking at it differently. You know, all, not all things are like black and white, though. Bo the Bandit Darville, you know, not to ruin any parasocial dreams, but yeah, that would kind of weird me out, I think. Ugh. Not to shatter any parasocial dreams. When are you getting the P.O. box? Rolling eyes face. Rolling eyes face? You fucker. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a registered address with the government. So, whenever that happens. <laughs> Soon, though. Because I love unboxing streams. Those are so much fun. 
How many elderly people could you beat in a wave scenario like zombies? And is it more question. or less than the amount of eight-year-olds you could stomp? Ooh, this is a loaded question. Okay, so... Um... How many elderly people could you beat in a wave scenario like zombies? And is it more or less the amount of eight-year-olds you could stomp? I would say... More... Because elderly people would probably turn to ash. Headless turtle, thank you for the prime sub. Um, if we're talking like zombie waves, I bet I could get to like round 35 with elderly people. Because, like, I don't know. I mean, it depends how they're coming at me. But, like, if I have a weapon, I'm beating the fuck out of elderly, elderly people, you know? And you might have some outliers, but... You know, I would beat the shit out of... I could probably take down hundreds and hundreds of elderly people, I feel like. Maybe a thousand elderly people. And then, I just feel like eight-year-olds would put up more of a fight. Maybe. Because some eight-year-olds are big as hell. This is a test bit alert. This is a test bit alert. Nice. Who is the best Kardashian? Who is the best Kardashian? Is it bad that watching this gets me wrecked? Okay. <laughs> let's tackle those individually. Uh, let's tackle those individually. Um, who's the best Kardashian? Um, Caitlyn Jenner. Right? Huh? Um, she's a Jenner. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, Kardashian. They all are the same to me. I really only know Kim Kardashian. Um, okay, yeah, I guess Jenner is the last name. All right, motherfucker. Probably, probably Kim, because I don't know the other ones. Don't know the other ones. Don't know Chloe. Chloe looks like a different... I thought I knew what Chloe Kardashian looked like, and then I saw a picture of her, and I was like, that's not even who I thought it was at all. You guys remember when Kim Kardashian put that picture of her big, fat turkey ass, and she was popping champagne, and it was flying onto her giant turkey ass? And then she removed her big ass. Somehow. Are there ads? Sorry, people. Once we stop, like, you know, once I stop popping off hard as fuck, I'm going to change the ad settings, but right now I think it benefits me to not, and again, you guys aren't even fucking here, so I don't know why I'm saying this. Benefits me to not have pre-rolls enabled is what I'm saying. I have nothing to do with the money. I just want to disable pre-rolls. Um, is it bad that watching this gets me erect? No, it's actually encouraged to have erections. In these streams, so, you know, have big boners, do whatever you want, you know. Have big-ass boners. It's actually encouraged, so. Dude, my lips are on fire. My lips are on fucking fire. Fuck. Mmm. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, I don't even have my water. Let me grab my water real quick. Hold on. He did not just restart the ads. It's not me, sister. It's not fucking me. Ah. Ah. Jesus, fuck. I'm getting, I guess the hot sauce makes good lip plumper. You know? Will you do edibles again? No. Yes. I'll be right back. I'm getting my water.
I just blew my nose, and I think hot sauce came out of my nostrils. Next question. You fuckers. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Now my hands smell like silicone. Mm. All right. Is you met someone, what about them would instantly impress you? Could be a physical feature or personality. Huge boobs. Giant. Mammaries. No, that's the funny answer, the real answer. Wait, what is this first time chat? We should milk this man? What does that even mean? What do you mean we should milk this man? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Anyways, no, uh, the, I hate these questions. Well, you know, there's, there's, they're getting spicy. No pun intended. Um, no, I mean, if they're funny, that's an attractive thing. I feel like making me giggle and laugh, you know, if you can make me giggle, you can make my cheeks jiggle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, next question. Can I be a groomsman at your wedding? Yes. Let me get your number. Social security seemed too easy, sip, sip. <sighs> okay, so I'm not going to give you guys my phone number. So I guess I will. That is also not a question, but I'll let it slide. It's not a question. It's not, but I'll let it slide. Fuck, I just recovered. Do not end the stream. Well, I'm the I get five skips. Let me get your number. Social security seemed too easy. Sip sip. That is a question. No, it's not. That's absolutely not a question. Oh yeah, they didn't say phone number. Hold on. Hold on. I'm thinking. I'm thinking outside the box. I'm thinking outside the box. A not a question. B you didn't say phone number. I could say any number. My number let's see, what was my number in um when I was on the soccer, the recreational soccer team at my local park, it was, uh, I think, eight. So there you go. Yeah! Describe your first orgasm in detail. Also not a question. <laughs> you could have said, can you? We'll let this one slide. We'll let this one slide. Because that one is quite specific. That one is quite specific. How do you submit a question? Just the 500 bits and then... Um, I have a great story for this. This is such a funny story. Hmm... Do I answer this question? I don't want to take another thing of hot sauce. This was miserable. This was absolutely miserable. This was absolutely miserable. When I, when I, when I was a young boy and I was in fifth grade, I was over at my friend's house, my neighbor's house, and I, you know, I thought I was peeing. I didn't know what was going on. And I was like, interesting. So, you know, pee has never felt like that before. So then the next day I was like, okay. I'm just going to hold my pee all day. And it was at my neighbor's. <laughs> so there we go. That's up. Oh, there we go. Come on. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. There we go. I didn't want to take another shot of hot sauce. My stomach is killing me. Killing me, dude. Killing me. Killing me. Why was that your neighbor's house? We were doing a little fun party. I don't know. 
Well, that makes it sound insane. <laughs> it wasn't like that kind of thing. It was like, maybe I shouldn't have told. It was, that was pretty vague. I think it would be good. They said in detail. Well, that's enough detail, I think. Luke Mearns, thank you for the sub. On Have you ever been in love? If so, what was it like? If not, do you think you ever will be? This is quite different from the <laughs> the first time you came question. <laughs> Actually, in many ways, it's very similar. You know, the first time you came and then the first time you uh, were in love. Have Is the question, have I ever been in love ever? Yeah, I've been in love before. If so, what was it like? I don't know. It's awesome. It's awesome until it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's awesome, and then it's not awesome. You know what I'm saying? Unless it just ends in, like, beautiful, holy matrimony. That's really the only thing that... It's either you get married or you don't, and someone is, you know, dying inside. And those are really the only two... <laughs> those are the two options that exist. Um, yeah, you know. What streamer do you hate the most and why? Jesus Christ. Okay. What streamer do I hate the most and why? <laughs> Ooh. I'm answering this one. I don't give a shit. I am... I do not want to take any more hot sauce shots. Um. Yeah, me, dude. No, I have a great question or a great answer for this question um i think you could probably say a lot of people on kick i don't think if you stream exclusively on kick that makes you a shitty bad person i it's not i wouldn't say dream either i would say i did jason nash i don't like the pandering fucking kick motherfuckers that like I actually recorded a podcast episode about this um, <laughs> Jake Weber. Yeah, Jake Weber is my answer. No. I hate, um, I don't hate Kai Sinat. I hate, uh, Neon and, like, Aiden Ross. I, hate is a strong word for Aiden Ross, but those guys and, and that Zerka guy and, like, Fousey, like, all those dudes we can combine into one fucking person. And, uh... Like, all of those guys just piss me off. Because not even, like, the stuff they... It's just, like, the pandering is so obvious. It's just, like, okay, the 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 comedy, like, the funny bit is just, like, okay, let's go out in public and let's just make fun of people. Or, like, let's just say offensive stuff without even, like, a punchline. It's just, like, okay, we're going to pander to, like, kind of our alt-right, like, right-leaning audience. And then they'll be like, W. Aiden! You know, like, Aiden, for example, Aiden Ross was not invited to the Streamer Awards. And, um... Aiden Ross, um... Aiden Ross made a video being like, okay, I don't want to go to L.A., I don't want to be around these people anyways. It could have been hard stop. You're good. But then he was like, oh, man, what, are all the trans people in L.A.? And it's like, you didn't have to add that part. You just added it to pander to your audience so your audience would be like, W. Aiden, you're the GOAT, dude, blue hair pronouns. Fuck those guys, right? Hell yeah, Aiden Ross. Woo! And uh, Neon does that shit, too, where they just say, like, it's just like kind of just, you know, and I'm not some big pussy, right? You know? I'm I'm all about having a good time and ha joking around and stuff. But, like, when the comedy is not even there, it's just like, okay, we're just going to, you know, I'm Zerka and I'm going to say the N-word or something. Or I'm just going to be, like, an asshole to girls because that's funny. They'd be like, you're an ugly bitch, you ugly bitch. And it's like, isn't that funny, guys, the way that I'm calling this girl an ugly bitch? Or, like, you know, whatever, whatever. I, or, like, they hang around that big lady and then the whole shtick is they just make fun of that. They call her, like, they call her, like, the troll lord or something. Or, like, Gorlack the destroyer or something. I don't know. It's just, like, I... And, it, and, it, and I'm so certain it's not indicative of their character. Like, as actual people. Because I don't know them. But it's just, like... That almost makes it worse because you're just like doing this shit to pander to people so that people will talk about it. Anyways, 
there we go. That's <laughs> that is my rant on streamers that I hate. Just anyone that panders and just is like, you know, let's just say this because this is going to be a clippable moment. But again, it's, you know, comedy subjective, I guess. But at a certain point, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> Next question. Weirdest timing you've had a boner. <laughs> Excellent question. Excellent question. Um, weirdest time I've had a boner? Funeral, maybe? I don't know. No, I just made that up. I've never had a boner at a funeral. Um, I mean, I guess you could say... Ooh, I've got a good one. Um, <laughs> at a church event. At a church... So many church events, you know, because I only went to church events when I was in middle school. So like then it's just like, you know, there are landmines everywhere, like a strong gust of wind comes by and now you have an erection, you know. So. So I guess church events, <laughs> church camp. If given the opportunity, handsome fella, would you replace your nutsack with an iPad? Yes. Next question. Do you like bugs slash what's your favorite bug, centipede, ladybug, ant? Do you like bugs? What's your favorite bug? <laughs> that is an autism question. But I, you know, that I I am, you know, I guess I, I used to have like a bug hyperfixation. So I don't know. I mean, centipedes are cool. They're scary in like real life, you know. They're scary in real life. Um, ladybugs are cool, but again, scary in real life. If you get a fucking conglomerate of ladybugs, they travel in packs, dude. You get ladybug infestations. That shit's crazy. Um, I'm trying to think. Roly polies. Roly polies. That's my favorite bug. Some people call them some stupid shit, but I call them roly polies. Roly polyolies. Dragonflies are good. They fucking turn into a little ball and they fucking roll around. Weevils greater than. Look up Jerusalem crickets. What did y'all call them? I think some people call them pill bugs, which is dumb as shit. Cicadas, all cicadas can die. And I'll die in that hill. I'd if I'm doing this right, but are you ever scared your boss? Co-workers are gonna see your streams also. Do you ever want to make streaming social media a full-time job? Yes and yes. So the question was, are you afraid that my boss and co-workers will see the streams? And will I make social media or streaming my full-time job? I, at this point, I'd like to. Um, I am fucking terrified of that. I will say, now, less terrified. I used to be super terrified of it. Now... I'm starting to care a little bit less. People at work all the time now are being like, handsome fella, my kids love your stuff. And I'm like, how, 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 dude, you are old. There's old people and they're like, I've seen you on TikTok. I'm like, you're 55. What are we talking about? Um, so yeah, I, I, you know, I, maybe I'll get fired. I don't know. And that, that might happen. I think I'll be okay. But if that does happen, I don't mind. I don't mind taking a hiatus. At this point, don't care. Don't care at all. If I could, for a long time, we're getting hashtag real, dude. This is the question answering segment. For the longest time, I put so much value into the, the nobility of a job or the notoriety of a job. Like, I work my ass off and I get this really, you know, established, like, job to be proud of. Um, and... Then you get it, and it's like, okay, this is just another means to make money. It's not like people are going to be like, wow, what a great fucking, like, important job you have, you know? 
So now that I've I can I've realized okay I can make money doing something that I actually enjoy. And even if it's less money, it's like why not do that thing? Um, you know, more time and like a more like a better quality of life. So I don't know. But then you think about the future and you're like, Ugh. <laughs> you know, maybe this is a dumb idea. But yeah, I, I do worry about that. But I've gotten to the point now and like, whatever, you know. What state are you from or which state do you live in? Love you, Pookie Bear. Um, Or which state? I can say what state I'm from or which state I live in. I live in Illinois. Shot town, baby. Are you going to add new items to the merch shop soon? Like more pieces that say handsome fella on it. Also, I love you, Pookie, heart. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on getting away from kind of like the third party seller thing. I want to make my own shit. And then kind of set up like a warehouse. So, we will see. Can you tell us a really funny slash sketchy story that you normally wouldn't tell? <laughs> um... Can I tell a really funny, sketchy story that I normally wouldn't tell? Oh, I got yeah, that's a yes or no question. Yes, I can, but I won't. Um, I have good one. I have so many stories that I just don't feel comfortable saying on stream. Um, There's one that comes to mind immediately that I absolutely cannot say. <laughs> but I kind of want to hint at it a little. It's a hilarious story. And I'm like, at what point am I like, you know, I'm an open book. I'll say whatever. <laughs> no, I guess it's I guess it's sip time. You have total control here. I know. But I'm trying to make an interesting YouTube video. You know what I'm saying? Someone asked him about the campfire story. Oh, where my Boy Scout counselor kind of came at me. Yeah, that's pretty traumatic. I just made that up. That wasn't, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> All right. Nah, I guess I'm not going to do this. I guess it makes sense to do more. Oh my god, this sucks, dude. I bet I could think of one I could say on stream too. That's what's crazy is I just I cannot think of one. The one that I'm thinking of right now is I could not possibly say it. My poor butthole. That's true. Ah. 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 Mm. Fill the spoon, yo. Have you ever fucking watched Hot Ones ever, dude? They put a little dollop on that shit and they still die. Do you understand how this works? Holy fuck. Ah. Boy, Charlie, thank you for the tier one sub. Oh, my God. Water makes it worse. You guys are right. Holy fuck. I'll be right back. Shit. Fuck.
Oh, fuck. That's the worst. That was worse than the last one. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't have any fucking milk, dude. I don't have any fucking milk. You guys keep saying eat bread and drink milk. I don't have either of those things. Peanut butter? I have peanut butter. I'm gonna, I'm answering every question moving forward. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Dude, I've explained this premise 17 times. I'll be right back. Ah. I'm sorry for lashing out on that person. It was a very vulnerable moment for me. My bad to whoever that was. You were just asking a question. Oh my God. The peanut butter works. Use your skips. That's what a skip is. Every skip is a sip of hot sauce. But the way Ludwig did it, the way Ludwig did it is that he incrementally went up. I went straight to the butt fuckery. I went straight to the butt fuckery, dude. It's going to fuck my butt. Ugh. Later. Oh. Ex Denvi. Thank you for the prime so. It's called the Dewey look. What was the question? I wasn't paying attention. Well, pay attention next time. Woo! I'll give you guys the poop aftermath. Next question. Who's your fav mod? Oh, this fucking sucks, dude. Are you serious? I gotta answer this question because... I gotta answer this question. I gotta answer the question. Oh, that's easy. Evan. Evan. There we go. Evan. Known him since I was a kid. He can't be mad at me for that. Evan. Booyah. There we go. How much money did Quinn offer you to make audio porn? What? You're serious?
how much money did Quinn offer me to read audio porn? Damn. Oh, it skipped questions. It skipped questions for some reason. I got to go back and read these questions because I don't want people to waste their bits. I got to read the rest of these questions. A bunch of them got skipped. Ugh. What am I talking about? Oh, the Quinn thing. Uh, five grand. They offered me five thousand uh, dollars in a long time ago, and then they offered me like more than that. But that was the initial thing. You turned down five grand? Yeah, I'm not gonna read fucking porn, dude. I'm not reading porn. I'm not reading porn. It's not happening. Not happening. Don't care. Not reading porn. Are there ads? Damn. That would have just completely nuked any credibility I had at all, you know? Self-sabotage, exactly. First-time chatter, that's what I'm talking about. Why not? Easy money. Maybe because there will be a whole subsection of a community that's like, we like to hear you read porn. Oh, and the blowjob bib didn't. Oh, yeah. The comedic bit where I had a baby bib that said blowjob bib is the same thing as me reading actual, like, fisting porn. That's the same thing, right? That would have the same effect on the community. Still text to speech? It is. But, but for some reason, there's a. For some reason, it skipped some. I don't know why. So I'm going to have to just read these myself. Oh. Let me read the rest of these. Here we go. Reading. I'm reading a few because for some reason I skipped it. There was an ad when you answered. How much did they offer? Five, five G's, brother man. Five G's. Okay, so... How did you lose your virginity? How long did you last? Sorry, I want you to take another shot. I will not be... I will not be taking another shot, dude. I'm not doing... I, I don't care. No matter what, I'm not taking any more hot sauce. My stomach can't take it. I said five skips. No, I'm answering this. I am not fucking doing this hot sauce. Um, In a car, three minutes maybe. There you go. Boom. Booyah. Uh, how old? That was not part of the question, man. And there are reasons why it was that. And it's a very funny story, but again, I don't want to go into too much detail. It's a vague, it's a vague question, and I will give a vague answer. <sighs> that wasn't part of the question. Didn't say anything about how old I was. Uh, how many skips are you at? I, I've I've got three more skips. I just would rather fucking die. Yeah, it was last week. I was 24 when that happened. I would rather die. Um, do I have to ask a question? It's all right, man. You don't have to ask a question if you don't want to ask a co- if you don't want to ask a question. Um. What is your social security number? Fuck. Fuck. No. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Ah. Oh Yeah, what if I just made up one? That would be fucked up for somebody that uh that would be fucked up if I got someone's um if I pick someone's actual social just like randomly, and then they got ruined, you know? 
the way you're contemplating, I'm not contemplating saying my social security number. I just. <sighs> Fuck. I vote we skip it. That's way too personal. <laughs> I mean, that's as personal as it can get. But the whole shtick is that, you know, this is like an immediate hot sauce thing. You know, like, obviously, I'm not going to answer it. It's just going to like to give me a skip. Okay, how about this? How about this? How about this? I will, I will take a shot of this hot sauce. We're skipping this one. But I'm just, I need time. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Booyah. Next one. Oh. You seem to be a decently fashionable guy. What's your least favorite fashion trend for men or women? My least favorite fashion trend for men? Blamf. Thank you for the prime sub. Um, that whole era of like Supreme and Bape and shit, that was very annoying. No way. I am fashionable. You guys didn't see my fucking Dolce & Gabbana fit, bro. That was not me that... That was that was not me that styled myself. However, um, I'm relatively fashionable, okay? And I actually have a lot of fashion knowledge. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like that whole era of like Supreme and Bape and shit. Male rompers is another one. Not a great... Not a great trend. Oh, great. What are the exact measurements of your penis when erect and soft? Parentheses. I'm not a girl. <laughs> it's looking like another hot sauce. It's looking like two shots of hot sauce from where I sit. No! Damn you. So just keep in mind we have two in the bank. We have two in the bank. I honestly don't know. Measuring flaccid is crazy. Why would you ever want to know that? I'd rather die. Yeah, uh, nine and a half inches. Next question. Uh, how do you feel about fupas? When was the last time you lifted one? I don't know if I've ever lifted one. I mean, they cool. Next question. Weirdest hear me out TV show crush? Movie or TV show crush? Uh, she go. The blue car from Cars. Um... That's not weird. Is the blue car from Cars not weird? Uh, let's see. Um, the hot blue girl car. Girl, those are basic ASF. Oh, I'm sorry I'm not horny for cartoons. Oh, I'm sorry I'm not fucking horny for movie characters. My bad. My bad I don't just have a list of fucking movie characters that I'm horny for. My bad on that one. I just don't keep a goddamn list of TV show and movie characters that I am horny for. Jessica Rabbit. Yes. But that one's a given. You know, she's like supposed to be hot and sexy. Let me just look up. Uh, how about this one? Um, that girl that overdosed on heroin in Breaking Bad. Uh, the guy that drinks the jizz out of the bathtub and saw burn. Uh, um, I'm trying to be serious with these questions. I'm trying to think of like a legitimate... Death from Family Guy for me. I'm trying to think of like a really weird, but also like relatable one. Um, love Quinn, but yeah, it's just like a hot girl, you know? It's just that one makes sense. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Kyle's mom in South Park. Kyle's mom in South... Oh, wait, not Kyle's mom. Jesus Christ. Stan's mom 
Kyle's mom, no. I'm not doing that one. Stan's mom. Uh. <laughs> not a question, but I appreciate how you're funny, but I can also tell you're a relatively good person. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you. You kind of sound like Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. Can you say, oh, right, that's the poison, the poison of... Okay, I'll say the line. Uh, the poison. The poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. Blah, 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 blah. I think we're finally caught up. We're finally caught up. Okay, next one. What college did you go to and what is her major? Um. I never got an apology. My bad you don't give a f about Pokemon. What's her favorite twin tower? Also that source is Baby Spice Lamau. Okay, let's tackle the first one first. And then the next one, yeah, I went to the University of Eating Box, and then I studied marketing. Um, fuck, dude, I guess that's three. Well, no, I can answer the second half of that. I just don't want to... Let's see. It was a big college. I'll just say that. It was a big one. A big, well-known one. Thank you, Scarif, for the three months. And then I studied marketing. It was Harvard. You guys know Harvard. You guys know Harvard. I have the Harvard sweater. You know? Um, and then that second question was, what's your favorite Twin Tower? And I guess the one that was... The one that was up the longest? I don't know. So the second one? What is something that genuinely terrifies you? That genuinely terrifies me? <sighs> Dying holeless and broke, probably. Yeah, small boobs. No, I'm trying to think of something that genuinely terrifies me. Um, dying and then being like, oh shit, that's God, my bad, and then he like points to hell, and I'm like, fuck, can I come up? And I'm like, alright, I know, I'm sorry, you've seen the TikToks, my bad, my bad, or, um, let's think of another good one, how about, how about 9-11-2, maybe? I don't really get I get I get scared of my house getting broken into maybe <laughs> or like uh what else shit I think that's about it <laughs> sharks sharks are a pretty obscure fear but sharks okay people so here's what we're going to do <sighs> So I skipped two questions. So so far I've skipped so far I've skipped two and that's all the questions. Where we finish the questions and the segment is over, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We went through all the questions. Um Maggie, thank you for the tier 1 sub. Goodbye YouTube. Well, no, not by YouTube yet. We still got some some things to do. So social security number I did skip. And I banked that nice little spoonful, and I will take it now. And then I also skipped uh, the exact measurements of my wiener. Um, so, we will now take a regular spoonful, because usually I just did a little droplet. So, we're going to do two and one. I want to keep streaming after this. I want to like react and stuff. <sighs> King Cole Jr. Thank you for the tier one sub. It's just a mindset. It's just a mindset. 
It's literally just a mindset. That's all it is. It's like a mindset thing. Mindset. R.I.P. to your rectum. Rest in peace to my brother rectum. Long live rectum. He's going to die tonight, probably. I mean, either way, if I skip, I still have the wiener one that I skipped. I mean, obviously, I wasn't going to answer that, but that's like the whole shtick of this. Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh, great, my hair. <laughs> There's a nice little one of my hairs in the spoon, so that'll be that'll be a nice little treat. The wiener one shouldn't be answered. That's the point, is when someone asks something that's ridiculous and I skip it, then I have to take a hot sauce. It's going to be a great... The algorithm is going to be like, this is the greatest video I've ever seen in my life. So, it's going to be great. So, here we go. crack of my neck to get ready <sighs> plug your nose all right people <laughs> what the fuck is plugging your nose gonna do that's a great question let me answer it for you. Absolutely jack shit, dude. <coughs> Light work, no reaction. No reaction. Ladies and gentlemen, um, that was that was the Ask Me Anything stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sure enjoyed it. I had a great time. And I'm really enjoying it right now. <sighs> that was just the outro to the YouTube video. I'm still here. I just got to recover. And then we'll, we'll do some gaming or something. Fuck my ass. Oh, fuck. May he rest in peace. I can do that bit one more time. Nope. Wrong sound effect. Hold on. My bad on that. Fuck me.
Tinky Waddle, thank you for the one gifted. Be a at bat, thank you for the prime sub. Fuck, bruh. Fuck me. Fuck me to death. You're gonna die on the toilet like Elvis? I might, dude. I for real might. I can feel it traveling to my butt. <laughs> Kyla, thank you for the one gifted. I was just warned by Twitch that your stream may have sexual themes. And the first thing I saw was you dying to the sound effect of a fart. Yeah. Yeah, I whipped my balls out earlier. That's why that is the... Uh, that's why you get that warning. American Geezer, thank you for the one gifted. Brainalax, thank you for the one gifted. I'm going to have radioactive shits. I'm going to have diarrhea. <laughs> they were huge. <laughs> And they were giant. And they were big nuts. Woo! Fuck. Fuck me, bruh. Nah. Nah, what is he doing? Nah, handsome fellow with titties? Handsome fellow with titties? Handsome fellow got breast implants. Handsome, what? What the fuck? Yo. Tinky Waddle, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I'm back. What's up? Whew. Holy God. Holy Jesus. It's finally past my mouth, but like I could feel it in my throat. Big giant paws on that. Um, huge paws. Jesus Christ. Um, and then it's coming down my stomach. <sighs> Do you have a full-time job outside of Twitch? I do, and they're going to love this. And they're particularly going to love this GIF. Hey, guys, have you seen this GIF? Hey, guys, check out this new GIF that's hitting the internet. Hey, guys, check out this new GIF. Check out this new GIF that's taking the internet by storm. Making an emote. Ooh, I can make it an animated emote. Check out this new GIF that's taking the internet by storm. I'll just cover you guys with this. Anyways, all right. We're having fun. <sighs> this new GIF is going absolutely viral. <laughs> Don't walk. Run to this new viral GIF. <laughs> Holy shit. It's on sale. All right. <laughs> I guess that's the sexual themes they're talking about. Anyways, let's um let's get it going. Let's let's do a little reaction and then maybe we'll do some gaming. Maybe Detroit becomes Human Detroit comes in a human or something. We could do that one. I want to see if there's a button video though. Low Kizzle, dude. I've streamed every day this week. Yo, yo, shit. Fuck, shit. Mm, fuck, fuck. Are you still banned on TikTok? No, they actually appealed me. Holy shit, Casey Alexis, thank you for the five gifted. Yeah, I'm streaming. Oh shit, I'm streaming. Fuck. Divine, thank you for the prime sub. Um, Yeah, I stream. Let's see, what was the lineup this week? Sunday was Minecraft. Monday was... I don't even remember. 
It's been a great week of streaming, though. It looks like he's wearing lipstick. That's because my fucking lips are on fire from the goddamn um, hot sauce. All right, let's watch a video. Let's watch a video, shall we? Exes play truth or drink. Hmm? I quite like that one. I quite like these videos. They're always a fun, silly time. Duke Dennis. What? <laughs> Duke Dennis looks like he laughs like, hang, 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 hang. Just because of his grills. Also, if you're 31, you can't use the word Riz. I'll say that. You can't be using the word Riz at 31. You know who uses the word Riz? High schoolers. What do you have to say for yourself now? Uh, sweaty Dish Sock. Thank you for the tier one sub. All right. Um, I'm going to pee. And then I'm going to fill up this water. And I'll BRB. Um, what's a good little bangy? What's a fucking hashtag banger we could play? You the jizz? You not even the pre-com. I'd be going hard. All right. Uh, I just went on TikTok while I was peeing, and I saw about three TikTok shop ads. That was fucking awesome. I saw an edit of Panera Mac and Cheese. What the fuck is that? Who's horny? Come on. All right. Um, let's do this. Dude, me, I was talking to this, uh, talking about this to somebody the other day. The fucking era of TikTok where it's like, like, what the fuck is Tony Lopez doing right now? Like, all those guys that used to dance with their dicks out and stuff, what are they doing? And all those people that would do, that shit was so embarrassing. They would do, like, POVs, and they'd be like, POV, uh, the mafia's here, and they're killing me. And then they would choke themselves on the wall. And all the comments would be like, you need to be an actor. And it's like, no. that How is that acting at all? That's crazy. 
or it'd be like, yeah, white people just fucking putting the BLM fist all over their body. And they'd be like, we're doing this for you guys. Oh, yeah, POV, you know, I'm at a, like, protest, and I'm a white person, and, like, I'm standing up for BLM, and they're getting, like, arrested. And it's like, what kind of savior complex do you have to be, like, pretending to, like, you have to fling yourself onto your kitchen table as if you're getting arrested and be like, I'm standing for my people. You know, I don't care if I'm white. Like, are black people supposed to be like, holy shit, I love this skit, you're a hero. You're actually a hero. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Kamo Cunt, for the 500 bits. Truth or dare? Dare. Dude, my stomach is killing me, oh my god. Yeah, Macklemore. <laughs> are there ads right now? Fuck, I'm sorry, people. I was watching this video. I talked too much. Do you remember? Oh my god, my tummy. Oh my god, my fucking tum tum. Fuck. So this is called X's Play Truth or Drink. These are always fun. The X ones are always hilarious. I love the X ones. Oh, my tummy. All right, well, while people are watching ads, let's... um. Let's go through my Twitter likes for the subs out there. This one's awesome. City girls music so mean. I don't deserve no pussy because I'm financially unstable. No pussy at all. You mean zero pussy? <laughs> I love this joke. Uh, horniest dude who's ever existed. That's sick. What does being a project manager entail? <laughs> cats so hungry they turn gay. Look at how hungry these gay cats are. And then they turn gay. That's how hungry these cats are, dude. Are the ads done? I'm just going through my Twitter likes until the ads. Oh, this one's awesome, too. Why are cold... Why are cold medication pills so big? How am I supposed to swallow this as a reasonable human being? You're not a real hashtag throater. <laughs> Dino B, thank you for the tier one sub. Ads are done? Excellent. Let's watch this video. X is play truth or drink. Boom. Remember what it felt like to kiss me. Should we get a refresher? I was thinking about that the other day. What it felt like to kiss yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. It was electric. Yeah. That changed Jesus my life. Christ. Thank you. Me personally, I would jump off a building. That's incredible. That's like the the story I told you guys earlier in the stream. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> no. Yeah. This is electric. Yeah. That changed my life. Thank you. Out of nowhere, too. Out of left field. He had those bitches in the holsters. Dun, 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 dun. Hello. Hi. I'm Brian. I'm Jonathan. I'm Zanae. I'm Ryle. I'm Stephanie. I'm Hunter. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, yes. What are you two doing here today? Playing truth or drink with my recent ex. We broke up recently. Like, what, three, three weeks? I know this guy knows a lot about computers. He looks like he knows a lot about computers. Yeah. Pretty fresh. Yeah. How long did you date? Like seven or eight months. We were married for nine years, together for twelve. You two shot? Yeah. What? Yeah. Together for twelve years? It's over. It's over. It's over. You're done for. Twelve years of your life with this person? You're fucked. That's your person forever. 
You'll never find another person ever again. Married for nine years. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why, Why did you leave me? I was just like, oh, like we're not doing things. Like, instead of... Valid. Hey, babe, we need to break up. We're not doing things. He's like, excuse me? He's like, mm. That's all. <laughs> Being like, oh, push you to do better. We were just kind of stagnant. Mm -hmm. I realized. That does it. That was a nothing answer. <laughs> I'm a lesbian hunter. Mm. <laughs> yeah, probably isn't going to work out. Why did you leave me? Uh... Damn, dude. Imagine how bad your dick game has to be to turn a girl into a lesbian. Jesus Christ. She was like, I haven't come in 12 years. I need to find somebody <laughs> who can make me come. I have not had an orgasm in 12 years. <laughs> uh, we were spreading apart. Fair, fair. We've been together a long time, but the paths were diverging, so. Yeah. Did you know I was gonna break up with you? I could sense the distance. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, there's conversations that need to be had. I didn't think it was that conversation though. Mm. What's the most annoying question you get realizing you're a late in life lesbian? How did you not know? Or like, how were you married for so long to a man? Yeah. That is my question. <laughs> that is my, I feel like after a couple years you'd be like, I mean... <laughs> what do you tell people? I tell them that I was raised in a really high control religion and to be a lesbian was the worst thing I could be. <laughs> Name one person who was happy we broke up. I mean, I could think of one person. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Your gentleman caller. <laughs> uh, yes. Let me change the stream title. Um, Hashtag Thick Women Thursday. Boom. Donovan? He's <laughs> dumb. I guess he's somebody I'm currently seeing. There was like... Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh my God. It's Thursday from where I sit. Probably Donovan, the guy that I cheated on you with and I'm with now. Probably him. People in my life I was on and off with before you. Mm. And then I think like afterwards they tried to come into my life. Mm. Have you masturbated thinking about me since we broke up? No, not at all. That was way too quick. That was way too quick. Even if you haven't, for real, you gotta, you gotta have at least a little pause. He didn't even finish the question. Have you ever thought of me master? No. Nope. No. She's a lesbian? I know she's a lesbian, but still. They were, ma they were married for nine years. At least care for his emotions. Give it two seconds. I once. knew that was going to be the answer, <laughs> and I knew it was going to be that immediate. She's thinking of boobs and vagina. She's not thinking about you. I'll take a shot with I feel like I'm intoxicated from this hot sauce. I feel like this has gotten me drunk. You on this Which doesn't make any sense, but oh, I'm having an ethereal experience, like an out of body experience. Do you masturbate? You think if you had an out of body experience, you could suck yourself off? Anyways. Waited to me since we broke up? No, I just I don't want you to be alone on this one. You know <laughs> what I mean? What's the moment you knew we were doomed as a couple? When you said, Hunter, I think I'm a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> you met- That would make sense. Donovan, and then kind of the open relationship became another surprise polyamory. Always fun. <laughs> At that point, it's kind of like, all right, like probably not going back to how things were. So. Oh, they're in a poly relationship. You know what's crazy is like, in every poly relationship, in every open relationship, you know, it's like, who is the person that uh, hates their life? Who's the person that hates their life? You know? <laughs> Surprise, polyamory is just cheating. That is true. 
But if you word it like that, it's like... It's not as bad. Hey, surprise, we're in an open relationship. I've been cheating on you this whole time, but it's not actually cheating. Because... This might have been a moment I knew things were on the wrong path. Was I was like, what are your Thanksgiving plans? Like, oh, could I possibly go to yours? And then you were like, ah, that's just a lot, you know? It's, it's a big family. And I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, was it hard to, to tell me? Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> it felt like I soft launched it. Yeah. I was like, what would you do if I was a lesbian? Yeah, I and wow, what a hypothetical. Hypothetically, if I were into girls and didn't like you at all, how would you feel about that? Horrible? Good thing I'm just making a hypothetical. They were like, well, we'd figure it out. And I called my mom and I was like, I'm gonna ruin Andre's life, it's all over. And then I told you the next morning, mm -hmm. which she did not think I should do. But also, I'm so glad you did because like, I don't, I don't want don't. you <laughs> holding something like that. He is not. That for me, just for my own sake, like, yeah. no. Do you like my friends? Rate them in order. <laughs> From least to most favorite. I guess I'm not wild about this Donovan guy, but I don't know him, so. <laughs> it's understandable. <laughs> Did you like my friends? Rate them in order. <laughs> Tell me who your favorite of my friends. Damn. Hmm. Who is the person that maybe you didn't want to? Mind your business. It's not. <laughs> Damn, bruh. Did you like my friends? Rate them in order from your least to most favorite. Okay, let's go bottom friends. Oh my god, you're I doing would this. say anybody I met that I later found out it was an off and on situation with. Jesus Christ, is everyone, is it all just cheating? Oh, one of my least favorite friends, probably that guy that you said you were just friends, but it turns out you were fucking him the whole time. Probably Donovan's ass. <laughs> Probably this guy that you were fucking. Because <laughs> there was one guy I was very friendly with, and then you were like, yeah, that guy's checking in. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you yeah, I sucked that guy off. Told me so I wasn't Sorry. dapping him up every time I met him, you know? like. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how to improve in the bedroom for my next relationship. Gee, pretty great as is. <laughs> oh, thank you. You could vacuum more. This is a beast in the sack, dude. Beast in the sack. Absolute demon in the sheets. Absolute demon in the sheets. Um. <laughs> Be more attentive of the what other- What the fuck does vacuum more mean? Does he mean like sucking penis? Ew, you could vacuum. Good morning. Uh. <laughs> oh, in the bedroom. Oh, was that like a joke? I thought it meant like vacuum seal. Be more attentive of the other person. Mm, that is a lesson that I have learned. Hunter's been knee deep in pussy. <laughs> He's been fun. And so have you, sister. Come on. And so have you, girl. Fucking getting Don't say that on camera. <laughs> yes, and I'm very true. proud of him. <laughs> You've also been knee deep in pussy. Tell me how to improve in the bedroom for my next relationship. Okay, sometimes when you're kissing, you like bite the lower lip. Mm. And then sometimes you like do it so frequently that it like draws blood. What? Yeah. Oh, my I never bad. told you. How often was this a problem? You drew blood at least like three times. Okay, <laughs> good. Yeah, I'm glad we could come to a number. Okay, cool, cool, cool. How long did it take for you to get intimate with someone after we broke up? And I'll answer this for this guy during the relationship. <laughs> during the relationship is how long it took. Who was it? In terms of like intimate, like you are with Donovan or something like that. I don't know that that's totally happened. I mean, you know, there's not like... Oh my god. See, that was a good bit, and we're just gonna focus on me saying deering. <laughs> deering. Deering. It was funny. Who gives a fuck? Not like there's nothing. Well, there's but a hickey on your neck. Hey! That was... <laughs> that was not voluntary. How long did it take for you to get intimate with someone after we broke up, and who was it? Probably like a... A month, maybe? Who was it? I don't know, it was like a 
a fling, you know? It was like, one of the girls you met at the club. <laughs> yeah, 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 one of two, one yes. Of two. <laughs> How long did it take you? Was it possibly someone who had been checking in? Well, yes, it always is, so. Just for you, uh, if for my guys out there, for my guys out there, if she is, if there's a guy that pops in every once in a while, if there's a guy that's checking in, just popping in every once in a while, innocent conversation, no need to be worried, innocent conversation, it's totally fine, totally fine, that guy, right up to bat, as soon as you're out of the picture, as soon as you're out of the picture, she's sucking that dude off. You're leaving, you guys break up, it, and there are tears in her eyes, and she's getting in her car, and using the tears as lubricant to suck this guy off that has been popping in every once in a while. That's what happens. So just know this. Know that. And vice versa as well. But, you know, I'm speaking to the brothers out there. Oh, we were dating? <laughs> there were one reason to give our relationship another try what would it be it feels like we should probably complete another kind of interval or two did you guys see that tweet where it was like <laughs> you know those tweet or those uh those images where it's like um like sex positions or whatever and um <laughs> it'll be like the wheelbarrow or whatever and i saw someone quote tweet one of those like sex position tweets and be like every time i see one of these images I just think about how my ex is doing it with another man and it ruins my day. <laughs> that was funny. Another try. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of two. One yes. Of two. <laughs> <laughs> Had been checking in. For one reason, to give our relationship another try. To give our relationship. <laughs> there were one reason to give our relationship another try. What would it be? It feels like we should probably complete another kind of interval or two. We should get Donovan's ass out of there, dude. For checking in on that. Yeah. You know, learn and grow as people and so forth. Our relationship is the relationship I've always wanted with you. Yeah. Now that we're not yeah. together. Yeah. If there. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. We're in the same boat. They look like English teachers. That is so true. If we're one reason to give our relationship another try, what would it be? We were both like very kind to each other and yeah. where we needed to figure things out was like, oh, sometimes that support goes too far. I still care about you. Hmm. I didn't throw away your toothbrush because I thought about <laughs> it. I was just like, oh, like, you can come back and I just want him to be able to have clean teeth. <laughs> Who loved who more? <laughs> just preemptive striking this one. Okay. Um, but no, no, please answer. Are you gonna answer it? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I think he loved him more this computer scientist. <laughs> it was nine years, it was a good relationship, it was a success. It's an aspect I don't wanna worry about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, what the fuck did he just say? Nine years? It's an aspect I don't wanna worry about. <laughs> <laughs> it was nine years, it was a good relationship, it was a success. It's an aspect. You people are crazy, dude. You people are fucking insane. What in the world? <laughs> Nine years for this this couple, and then like twelve years for the other couple, and then buzzer beater lesbian. I don't want to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers to that. Who loved whom more? Hmm. Well, him obviously, because she. Cheated. Don't raise your eyebrows at me. <laughs> I would say me, but that was like to a fault at times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I felt like you never held me accountable. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what? How was that on that guy? How was that on that dude? <laughs> I feel like you never properly held me accountable for me cheating on you. And this is your fault now. And this is your fault now. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> you should have held me more accountable, idiot. Otherwise, it wouldn't have happened. What it felt like to kiss me. Should we get a refresher? Oh, 
nah, bro. She's kissing girls. Shit. Hi, my name is Randy. I'm ah, this is the spicy part, lady. I was thinking about that the other day when we were first dating. I was just thinking about like what it felt like to kiss. Yeah. Me. Yeah. This is electric. Yeah. That changed my life. And she doesn't feel the same. She doesn't feel the same way at all. Thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah. That changed my life. Thank you for teaching me how to kiss like that. You're welcome. <laughs> the full clip is so much worse. Fuck. She was like, whoa. She gave him one arm. Sorry, that was a lot. We were like, oh my God, what's happening? I'm downing the bottle. I'm downing the bottle at that moment in time. Holy shit. What's happening? I think she thought you were going to kiss her. I know. <laughs> we should not get a refresher. Okay. If you want to refresh. <sighs> what do you mean? Why not? Why not? It, that holding hands went so well. Refresher, I'm not, I'm not opposed. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's better than this? Two guys kissing each other. Two guys kissing. They might be gay. Pretty sure they are. Oh. Should we get a refresher? Like, how would we do it? Like, over this table? Would you... <laughs> okay, no, I could do it. Yeah. Why is she wearing a pirate bandana? I just realized that. You're not a pirate, lady. You're not a pirate. Yeah. Hey. I'm really seeing the bottom lip, lip sucking thing. Ah, oh, god damn. I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of you. Freaking love you, bro. Freaking love you, bro. How was this experience? It sounded like he was gonna cry. It was fun. It was fun. Does a part of you desire? I love you, bro. <laughs> Are we gonna get back together? There's been discussions. Yeah. I don't. She seems as she is not. She seems she's not privy to the discussion. No, I think that there's more discussions that need to be had. But yeah, yeah. Why is she doing that? No. <laughs> Conversations to be had. Oh my god. You know who she looks like? Do you remember? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I am going to do this for myself. I don't know if I'm going to show it on stream. Just to like prove that my theory is right. Oh my God. Oh my god. All right, I'm going to show this for 2 seconds. I'm going to show it for 2 seconds. Hut. Hut. Okay. And there we go. And that's it. And that's it. And that is all. And that is what we're doing. And that, and we're done now, okay? <laughs> and now we're finished, all right? <laughs> I knew it looked familiar. I knew. 
Uh, amazing.